I want to deal with the dress code real quick. So, you may see these on our, our, our garments, right? These are fringes. These are fringes. Now, our heritage being taken away from us, you see right here, the Native Americans, they still to this day, they still wear fringes on their clothing. Why? Because they understand at one point in time that was given to them that they were Israelites. So it's inside of their spirit to wear those, but their heritage today, they, they don't know that they're God's chosen people, but they still wear the clothing with, with, the, with the border of blue. You see what I'm saying? We, at one point in time, as God's chosen people, we wore these on our garments. Now us reclaiming our heritage, who we are according to the Bible, we gotta come back to this. We have to come back to this. So you gotta put fringes on your clothing, and I'm gonna deal with your, your, your uh, dress attire too, sis. You too, sister. Isaiah 52 and 1. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 1. So y'all can come today as a family, come congregate, keep God's laws. Y'all can come today. Y'all got a flyer, a call a number, come to the school. We right down the street. Read that. Awake! Awake! Put out thy strength, O Zion! Hold on. You see it on there, brother? It's on the back of the flyer. 875 East Main Street. Get the brother an English flyer. You got it? It's on there? All right, Isaiah 52 and 1. Now, I don't want you to lose track of what I'm bringing up. We're going to deal with the dress attire. Isaiah 52 and 1. This is Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. God said to put on thy strength. Our strength is what? God's commandments. Keeping his laws is our strength. That's our strength. Read. Put on thy beautiful garments. Now, God said to put on thy beautiful garments. This is beautiful in the sight of God. It's beautiful because we're coming back to who we are. Turn that sign up. Oh, there it go. Those religions, we're not following those no more because that has nothing to do with God. Why? Because the fringes let us know we must keep God's commandments. God said not to have any other gods before me. God said the commandment we read about the instrument of covenants, you're going to marry that sister on paper because that's what the Bible said. You see what I'm saying? So it's beautiful on the side of the Lord because wearing these keeps us from wickedness. We're able to look upon it. Hey, my, my thoughts is going over. And we're going to deal with that. Oh, hey, the sister. Hey, brother. Brother, real quick. The, your wife is in the spirit. She just said, I want to wear something like that. You in the spirit. So we're going to deal with it. It's, it's in the Bible. Finish that. O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall be no more come in to thee, the unclean and the, uh, the uncircumcised and the unclean. Circumcised and the unclean is the other nations. All these different doctrines, philosophies, the customs. God said that's unclean. We got to come out of that. We got to change our minds. Deuteronomy 20, 25. The brother's on point. You eat pork, sis? Do you eat pork? Would you tell her not to? Sis, he right. You can't eat pork. But guess what? It, it'd be better if I show you out of the Bible. Read that. Deuteronomy 20, 25. I don't want you to think it's my words. Read this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Since you just said a heavy point, that thing was heavy. You said you want to wear something like this. Read it. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto the man. All right, so let's use common logic. You go to Burger King, right? Now, you got to go to the bathroom. You got the men's bathroom, the sister's bathroom. Now, say it doesn't say men or women. How are you going to know which bathroom to go into? What do you think, sis? Don't they show little stick figures on the door? What does the woman's stick figure have? A dress. A dress. So God said, read it again. I don't want y'all to lose, lose a point. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Guess what, sis? What they do today to cause confusion in the midst of our nation? Woman's pants. There's no such thing as woman's pants. The pants that you got on, brother, it got a zipper to pull something out to go to the bathroom. It's not for sisters. It's not for So what is for sisters? What's your dress code? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And you know what's crazy too? Who seen anything with Little Nas? The, the new video he put. Uh, uh, you seen that? You, it, it is it's disgusting. It's disgusting. But let me ask you, why are they doing that? Because they're trying to feminize women. Exactly. They're black men. Exactly. And they're making a black woman stronger than a black man. This brother's in the spirit. And it's the problem. Brother. This is what we, we, we gotta but, do. You heard what the brother just said, sis? Because they're trying to effeminize the black man and masculinize the black woman and Hispanic uh, uh, woman too. But yeah, 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 right, right, right. So if God's laws say a man shall not wear which pertaineth unto a woman and a woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto the man, why are they pushing that so hard in America? Things that make you go, hmm, you see what I'm saying? But that's the thing, we gotta see the crafty council. They're trying to keep us in sin. Because like I said earlier, 
Our strength is keeping God's commandments. So if we're breaking God's law, That's right. you'll continue to see brothers and sisters get gunned down in the street. Right. You'll continue to see single parent household, right. the black man not in the household, right. murder, drugs, guns. You'll continue to see these things, right? Finish that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto the man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abominations unto the Lord thy God. That's Bible talk. First Timothy 2 and 9. So God said, they shall not wear which pertaineth unto the other. So your dress code, brother, is exactly what you got on. Just throw some fringes on that shirt. Then you be rocking it. It be hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now let's deal with your wife. First Timothy 2 and 9. This is a book of First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. God said to adorn yourself in modest apparel. Now, what does that mean? When you look up the word modest on Google, it means not sexually revealing. So no man should be able to see your shape, sis, but your husband, because it's only for your husband. Same thing with you, sis. No brother should be able to, I, I guarantee you, if it was a group of brothers on that block and you walk by them, the first thing they do is be like, that's the first thing they would do, why? Because they can see your curves. You know what I'm saying? You don't want a brother to, to, to approach you or deal with you in that manner as a daughter of Sarah. God said that you're royalty. A daughter of Sarah, a daughter of God. And it does mean something. Y'all have power with God too. So when you submit yourself unto your husband, sis, you also have power with God. So y'all have to adorn yourselves in modest apparel. Y'all have to love that thing, why? Because, give me Leviticus 19 and 29 real quick. I'm gonna show you the effect that that has when you wear when you wear sexually reveal, revealing clothing what that does in our community we don't understand the spiritual effect that it has read that leviticus 19 and 29 the bible explains everything leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29 read this is the book of leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29 y'all got good spirits y'all y'all receiving everything so all praise to the most high i just pray that y'all come to the school read do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. God, this is a commandment. God said, wait, hold on. Don't prostitute your daughter to be a whore. How do you prostitute your daughter to be a whore? By showing her images. The way showing her images. Stop everything right here. Showing her, showing her body. Showing her body. Showing her. her face, the way she acted, cut all that out. As a father, because a lot of, a lot of, a lot of praise do when you say you start in the home. A father starts in the home. Right. Before you give the word out to anybody else, right. before you can be a disciple, it starts at home. You gotta start at home. And that's that's an excellent point because you have to enforce God's laws within your house. Right. Yeah. So when you come into the school, you can be that example for your wife. Guess what? She see you follow what God says. She has nothing to do but to fall in line because you you do it. You doing what God says. You're doing what God says. So you come into the school, put fringes on your garment. Build yourself up, come out here and teach your people, she's gonna have modest apparel on. She's gonna stop eating pork, she's gonna stop eating shrimp, lobster, because she's gonna follow your example. So if you're not coming to the school building yourself up as a godly man, you can't expect to lead your house in God's ways. Read, finish that. Verse 29, do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Right, so God said in 1 Timothy 2 and 9 to adorn yourself in modest apparel, not sexually revealing. Leviticus 19 says, don't prostitute your daughter to be a whore. She can't be wearing pants, short shorts. That's out of order with God. That's out of order with God. Right, but finish that. Lest the land fall to hoard up. That's what? Lest the land fall to hoard up. Now God said, lest the land fall to hoard up. The example I just brought out, where brothers looking upon a sister because she got everything hanging out. What is that called? Single parent households. You know why? Because that relationship was established on lust. You seen her chest? You seen the big behind? You don't want to deal with it. So when she get knocked up, oh, I'm pregnant. Oh, it's not mine. I'm out. You see what I'm saying? Because it was established upon lust. But when you do what God says, sister got modest apparel on, you know, the nice head wrap, a brother's going to approach her in a way that she needs to be approached. Respectfully, as a princess of God. You talked about this yesterday. What I said? I said back in the day in the 80s. I'm almost 40 years. Exactly, right. Back in the day in the 80s, it used to be like, we looked at her face. Because the way she dressed. The way she day, dressed was what? It was modest. Everything. It was modest. So when we look at it, we like, oh, she's fine. Yeah. We look at her face. Exactly. We ain't look at her body. Exactly. Now, hold on. man think lustfully. Exactly. And that's, that's what the scripture just said. Let's the land fall to hoard them. That's what happens, brother. That's exactly what happens. Because you're able to see the goods. You want the goods. I'm out. 
That's it. I'm out. Cause it's a saying. It said, uh, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? You see what I'm saying? Go back to First Timothy 2 and 9. So the God said, don't do that lest the land fall to hoard him. So sister, that being your husband, you honoring him, showing respect, you're going to put that modest dress on so other brothers can't look upon you. For your body. Same thing with you, sister. Oh, that's your daughter? All praise to the Most High. You, you in school? You see what I'm saying? Sister? Even in school. It's good. All praise to the Most You see, so God led it up to this point for y'all to be taught. It, this is not a coincidence. God got y'all here for a reason to repent and change y'all ways. Finish that. This is a book of First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. God said to adorn yourself in modest apparel. Not sexually revealing. We already touched that. Right? Read. With shame faceness. With in modest apparel. With shame faceness and sobriety. Not with broidered hair or gold or pearls of costly array. So God is saying, don't let it be the outward appearance because what our sisters like to do, it be the nice jewelry, they got the chains on, the, the ankle braces, the, the, the wrist, but they be demons, they be evil as hell. Well, I, I, real quick, brother, real, I don't want to go off into something else. So, just real quick. No, no. Right, right, right. We, we have, not right now, not right now. We're not going to go off into that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now, it can't be the outward appearances. No, everything look good, but internally, you're not moving how God is telling you to move. You see what I'm saying? You have to apply God's commandments change internally to it, for it to affect externally. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth 